Hi, wonderful friends. Guess what? Today, we are going to learn about the wacky world of the letter W. Wow! <laughs> now, do you know what sound the letter W makes? It goes like this. Wa, 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 wa. <laughs> okay, try it with me. Ready? Wa, 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 wa. Fantastic. Now, let's look at the big W, also known as the capital W. How about we draw it together in the air? Here we go. Whew, that was a little bit tricky, wasn't it? You did a good job though. All right, remember, we used the big W at the start of a sentence and we also use it for special words like names. Speaking of names, can you think of any names that start with the letter W? Hmm, the first one I can think of is William. William starts with the letter W. Wa, 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 William. Oh, another one is Wendy. Wa, 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 Wendy. We always use a big W for a special word like a name. Now, let's take a look at the little w or the lowercase w. It looks similar to the big w, but it is smaller. When should we use the little w? Yes, that's right. We use the little w when it's not the first letter of a sentence or a special word like William or Wendy. Let's draw the little w together. Get your finger ready. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, good job. Hmm. <sighs> Can you think of any words that start with the letter W? Hmm. I know a delicious one. Watermelon. Watermelon is a W word. Wa, 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 watermelon. Watermelons are juicy and sweet. Do you like watermelons? Yeah! I bet you do. Oh, I can think of a funny creature that starts with the letter W. A worm! <laughs> Want to try something fun with me? Can you wiggle like a worm? Ready? <laughs> are you doing it? Wiggle with me! Whoa, 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 wiggle! <laughs> Wiggling is so much fun. And you know what? Worms are so cool. What other words start with the letter W? Hmm. Witches and wizards. Those are both W words. Hmm. Do you know what a witch or a wizard is? Witches and wizards are magical beings with powers. They can cast spells. Oh, I wish that I was a witch. I would love to perform magical spells. Wouldn't you? How cool would that be? Can you think of an animal that starts with the letter W? Walrus! <laughs> That's a great W word. Walruses are large tusked marine mammals that live in cold Arctic seas. Wow, walruses are fascinating creatures, aren't they? Hmm, can you think of any more W words? Oh, how about windmill? Windmill is a W word. Windmills use power, the power of the wind to turn their blades and generate electricity or to grind grain into flour. Isn't that amazing? So cool. Hmm. Oh, I know a really good one, wagon. Wagon is a W word too. Wagons are like big carts with wheels that can carry people or things. Imagine going on a wagon ride through the countryside, enjoying the fresh air and beautiful scenery. Wah, 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 wagon. That would be really fun. Now, let's try a tongue twister filled with W words. <laughs> Don't forget, tongue twisters are tricky. Walter the Wacky Walrus wobbled wildly. Oh, 
my goodness. Okay, can you say it three times fast with me? Let's try together. Uh, Walter the Wacky Walrus wobbled wildly. Okay, let's try faster. Walter the Wacky Walrus wobbled wildly. Oh, I'm getting good at this. One more time. Walter the Wacky Walrus wobbled wildly. Oh, oh my gosh, that was a tricky one. How did you do? <laughs> you know what? I had so much fun exploring the letter W with you today and doing tongue twisters. Did you have fun too? I hope so. And I really hope to see you again soon for our next adventure. Bye-bye.